Okay, so I just bought the Reno G1 device, um, which hopefully I will be able to set up correctly because it re looks really cool. It has Zigbee, it has Bluetooth, it has switches with relays, um, but it's not very well explained how to add the Bluetooth devices. So my setup is I have two of uh, the self-heated batteries. Trying to focus. Two of those the chained together with Bluetooth cables and I am able to see those in the app. And I also have the controller, the DC to DC and plus solar charger controller and oh the two batteries terminate into this cable here in the hub and the solar DC to DC plus solar control controller terminates here and this is the Bluetooth output. So this works pretty well with my Bluetooth app. I'm able to see it, uh, to see all the devices there. I see the two batteries as well. As, like I see the two batteries uh, merged together but I can switch from battery 1 and battery 2 so that's cool and I'm expecting to be able to do the same in the Ren G1 display uh, sorry for the mess it's not that messy I just removed the lid here so and pull the cables to see what's going on so uh, yeah so I'm trying to add the devices now to the Ren G1 so, clicking add devices. And it's finding one of the devices, which I know by the address that it's the DC to DC. It's finding it, trying to connect, not able to connect. So, um, yeah, it's gonna loop several times and will not work. I tried it several several times already, but from the past I remember that when I was adding devices to the app through the hub, there was somewhere something said about that you need to add the devices one by one. So, uh, I what I'll do is I'll remove the batteries and I will leave only the DC to DC. And now I will retry it. On. Now it found the DC to DC and recognized it, which is great. Right. But now, let me add it. Add it successfully, nice. Now I want to add more devices. Right now it's not finding more devices because I haven't plugged the other cable, right? So I'm plugging the other cable. Still nothing. Let's retry because I did it later. No, yeah, still nothing. Okay, so let's say that I need to unplug the already added device first. Come on, focus. Okay, so I'm unplugging the already added DC to DC. I'm plugging this one in the same port and come on focus okay so again it's not finding the battery at all I don't know they are found in the app but the range one cannot find them I'm not sure what the reason is 
I will remove the Bluetooth connector from here. I will take the actual Bluetooth module and plug it here. Hopefully now it would be found. One second. Come on. No, it's not finding the Bluetooth module. The batteries even if the Bluetooth module is directly connected to them. That's really, really odd. It seems that there is only one Bluetooth address, although I'm going through the hub, and it's finding only one device, which is only once recognized, only once found. And once it's found as, D as the DC to DC, it's not finding it again as the Bluetooth, uh, as the battery. So this, I think, there is some bug in the discovery. Maybe, maybe let's do that. Oh, forget this device. Okay, we'll delete this to DC and we'll add another device. Come on, it's not finding the Bluetooth at all. Although there is, although it's not already taken by anything. So, oh, there it is. It finally discovered something. Recognizing. There it is. Okay, so it found my two batteries. Great. Finally. Finally. Now, let's hope that Oh, nice, it seems battery one, battery two. Okay, no info for battery. Oh, there it is. Great, that's all, exactly what I expected to see. Now we need to somehow move the Bluetooth back to the hub and hope that it's gonna still work. Okay, so disconnecting the Bluetooth from the battery, connecting the Bluetooth cable to the, the hub cable, sorry, and connecting the Bluetooth to the hub. And if I'm lucky, I will discover now the DC to DC. The battery, is it still active? Let's hope so seems that the battery is still active although now it's going through the hub great now come on find the DC to DC please I think maybe we can try removing the batteries and leaving only the DC to DC again let's hope it's gonna work It's not working. It's just not finding the Bluetooth again. Once it mapped the Bluetooth to the to one of the devices, in this case the batteries, now it's not finding the the uh, DC to DC charger. I think that's a bug in the software. Not found. So I think the problem is the following. When you add devices here, it's finding the Bluetooth address of the actual Bluetooth module, no matter if it's connected to the hub or directly to the device. So it's mapping this address as already found device and it's ignoring it on the next search. So on the next search, even if it's another device plugged into the Bluetooth, it's not finding anything. You need to forget the device first. So I think that's a bug with the, this particular software, because in the application it is working. So, yeah, maybe I need to contact the support and see what, what's gonna happen.